I have been a content creator and freelancer for a couple of years right now, but up until now, I have not really used the full potential of the fact that I was absolutely location independent. And yes, having studio and having everything ready for whatever I want to record and just need to put my camera there and click record, it's absolutely great. But what if you cannot really do it or you're not willing or able to set up a full studio wherever you go, especially if you are moving a lot? In this video, I will share with you my Digital Nomad Light Office setup, which basically fits into this one backpack and allows me to work from anywhere in the world. I will also share why some of the things that I'm packing into this bad boy are actually important for me, so you can decide for yourself what makes sense. And if you are interested in any of the products that I am mentioning here, I'm leaving them all down below in the description box so you can check them out yourself. And most of them are affiliate links. So if you are purchasing something after clicking on this, I will get a little bit of a commission. So thank you very, very much for doing that. And now that all of this is clear, let's go straight to the things that I use to work on the go. Actually, I haven't thought of this before, but I want to talk about the backpack that I'm using to get all of my stuff. It's from a company called Brevit, and it's a really, really cool backpack for a couple of reasons. And yeah, I have a couple of uh, things that probably shouldn't be here, such as hints, you know, the important stuff for work. Uh, but generally, this is a camera backpack, but it allows you to absolutely do whatever you need with it it's customizable you can get either this uh, pouch to be like the main pouch and then the pouch on this side can be just camera stuff and you know like separated things so this is absolutely passable or you can use it all as just a normal backpack you don't need to have all of those separators i'm actually using this backpack to work from literally anywhere and this includes a plane plus this backpack can be thrown into a washing machine and also it kind of allows you to make it absolutely flat so if you are traveling with something else and you just need this backpack but you can just take one carry-on and you'd rather have you know like a little suitcase or something like this you can make it absolutely flat put it into a suitcase it weighs nothing it also has a really nice uh, pouch here for the laptop and my ultimate favorite thing if you can have two carry-on luggages or if you leave like half of your suitcase empty you can just put it in and then you can put it on your suitcase life-changing love it it's amazing so if you are interested in this backpack i actually have it in black but i'm thinking about getting another one just in case amazing thing and it's also waterproof so let's go to the things that obviously you are here for which is recording and editing Let's start with the camera. I cannot show it in my hands, but I can do a little bit of a B-roll for you here because I'm using this camera to record this video. I'm actually traveling with just one camera because, well, I'm a one person party, okay? Like I do literally everything myself and this is my life. What I'm using is Sony Alpha ZV-E10, which is really compact vlog camera, which I actually love for a couple of reasons. Number one, it has really nice stabilization. Number two, it also allows me to change the lenses when needed. Number three, it has this really cool button, which is allowing you to switch between modes, which is video, picture, and slow motion. So it allows you to do a lot of things at once without changing too many settings. It's just one button. And also it does a really nice bouquet. So if I'm gonna show you a microphone, it's gonna like bouquet straight into it and pretty fast and I love it. Plus it's really tiny and I'm kind of small so you know the least stuff I can get the better for me and for my back. Number two is Rode microphone and I'm using this micro right here because well it's a pretty good one it has a little dead cut on it which is allowing me to you know do a lot of vlogging when I'm going around so whenever I'm vlogging I'm actually using this one so number three is the DJI mic and it's actually coming to you in this really really cool box and uh, there's one mic microphone here because the second one and the receiver I'm actually using right now I love it for the fact that it's having this case and it charges while it is in this case which is making things a little bit easier but also i'm having a little pouch because the cable from it doesn't really fit the box 
and I actually like it with the cable. There's also dead cats attached to it as well. So in this little bag, it's kind of really nice. And I'm mostly using it when I'm vlogging something and I'm a little bit farther away from the camera of if there's more than one person, especially when there's two of us, I just put one microphone on myself, the other one on the other person. And then we're gonna have a little bit better audio. Also, when I'm standing really, really far away from the camera and just doing some type of a wide shot, you can actually hear what I'm saying. Another thing that I really like about the DJI microphone is the fact that it records inside so it doesn't really have to have any type of a tool that is actually recording audio so sometimes I'm using my drone for recording videos and kind of making it feel like I have a camera person with me even though it's just following me in general number four is a flexible tripod and I'm using it right now so here's a little bit of a b-roll for you to check how it looks like and this is probably a no name I'm not entirely sure what is the name of it but I got this in the camera store in Dublin and I have to say it absolute life changer especially when you are recording everything alone because you can actually just use the flexible legs and put it around a lamp or a tree or something like this so when you need to put the camera a little bit higher or somewhere else you can do it even if you are just basically working alone and you don't want to walk around with the huge and heavy tripod Number five is a little LED light. You can put this one on your camera if you need a little bit more light on your face or somewhere like this, if you are working in a little bit of a darker place. This light is a little bit smaller and softer, but it has RGB lights and it allows you basically to use a lot of dimming and all types of colors that you can imagine for photography and videography. This light also has a space to be screwed on your camera to make it absolutely easier for you to vlog with. And also, I think it's actually pretty cute and small, which is helping out in the entire experience. But this is not the only thing that I'm using when it goes to the light. Because number six is a panel light and this is a big boy. Uh, as you can see, this is kind of bigger than my hand, but it also is RGB and it's much, much tougher than all the other ones. So it allows you to have not only like white balance stuff, but also some type of LEDs, colors and things like this. And I usually put it here just behind me to kind of separate myself from the background. As you can see here, uh, we're kind of having it sometimes on. Uh, and I actually love this panel light. It's like the best thing. It also has like settings and stuff like this but usually i'm using this one number seven is my peak design strap which is helping out with a lot of things when it goes to videography and not losing your camera or not dropping it this strap that only allows me to keep my camera close make sure that it won't fall to the ground but also it helps me with making stable shots if needed just an fyi gope changed its name to orf i really hope that i'm saying it right by the way every camera needs some filters and i absolutely love those the quality of the filters is great the price is acceptable and also the company cares about the environment so for me that's another plus plus. and if you want me to make a video about camera filters what they are doing and why do you need them leave me a comment down below so we can absolutely work on that next off is the insta 360 one rs and it's currently on the drone and i i'm not really willing to take it off right now because it was really hard to put it on uh, but this camera with a one inch mod is an absolute amazing thing. I actually think that it's better than a GoPro because none of the GoPro cameras has a one inch sensor, meaning that it works a little bit worse with uh, low light. So Insta360 one inch is absolutely smashing it when it goes to like lower light, sunsets or really high quality footage because it just allows you to use a bigger sensor. And yes, it's a little bit huge. That's what she said. <laughs> But what won't we do for a great quality of our footage, huh? And next off is another Insta360 product, which is the Insta360 GO 2. I really love this camera for the fact that not only it's kind of tiny and you can do whatever you want with it and it has a little tripod in there, but also it allows me to do some creative stuff when it goes to like getting stuff from the bag or from the box. And also it is magnetic. So if you see like a light pole or something like this and you want to just smash it in or like a fence you can just put it on there and have literal camera floating somewhere just just don't forget to take it after another obvious thing when it goes to content creation is obviously the laptop and i'm using the macbook pro 16 inch this is an old model that still uses the intel processor but i'm kind of thinking about upgrading it a little bit to the m2 i've heard a lot of really good things about it i know it's a pretty big investment so 
may take a little bit. For my editing, I'm using Final Cut Pro, which mostly works with MacBooks, and I have so many widgets and add-ons to it that I'm kind of like not really ready or willing to switch from it. Plus my workflow in it is actually pretty fast by now. Next off, I know that a lot of people can absolutely edit their videos on the touchpad. I'm not one of those people, I need my mouse. So the Logitech MX Master Free for Mac is absolutely my favorite thing on the planet Earth because it's really comfortable. It allows me to do a lot of work much faster. It really fits well to my hand and I have really tiny hands by the way. And it's also on Bluetooth. So all you need to do is just to turn it on and it works perfectly well with your Mac. Uh, I think they also have the normal version for like uh, Windows computers as well, but this mouse, Bene. Next off, in this beautiful box from Orbit Kin Nest, which is also something that I'm taking everywhere with me. This is like my little office type of a thing. I have a pen here, uh, my Estonian card, uh, a little cable, something else. That, and obviously, the next off, what I want to talk about is the Lazio. I really think that you say it Lazio or Lachi. Lazio. 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 I'm not sure but an external drive. And now I'm using this because I don't have enough space on my computer, especially when I'm leaving for a really long time. And this one is two terabytes. It has this really nice thing around it to kind of protect it from all of the vibrations. And as you can see, this one even has like information that it's 2023 because I have a lot of those. And uh, I'm also doing a lot of edits on this right now. I'm kind of switching my workflow. If you have watched my video about how to make yourself do things, even if you don't feel like it, you know that side silence in the office and actually focusing on things that you are doing is an absolute thing. So I'm using the Bose noise cancelling headphones, not only for travel in the plane or in a train or whatever, but also for normal work because it allows me to focus so, so much better whenever they are on and they are doing all of their noise cancelling work. So whenever I'm editing a video, I'm actually having those on and they work like a dream. This is the best investment you can make as a traveler, by the way. Just saying. And this is a really small thing that I wanted to mention, but I'm having a card holder from Camkicks. I'm not entirely sure if they still make those, but I'm having a lot of memory cards inside of this. And I'm also having like a bottle opener and a little bit of a pill box here. So this is like a little thing that's actually pretty much a life changer because you don't have a lot of those boxes stacked with the cards, but you have everything in one place. And it allows you to kind of, you know, uh, have everything pretty, pretty safe. And it seems to be waterproof, because it's really hard to move out. I haven't really checked it. It actually said it on the box, but I'm not really willing to try. Now, this is it when it goes to all of my Berber essentials. So this is what I'm gonna take with me if I'm traveling somewhere for work and I know that I don't need more things than this or I'm not willing to take more things than this because you know, it's already pretty heavy. But there's a couple of things that I may be taking depending on the situation and depending on the place and the length of my stay, wherever I go. One of them being the DJI Mavic Air. And I know that this is a little bit of an older drone. It's pretty tiny because you know i was after something that's smaller and lighter it's kind of you know like getting itself smaller as well so it's a really tiny box and it's not making that much of a change and it allows me to actually just kind of fake the fact that maybe i have a camera person with me and also it allows me to do a lot of really great selfies uh, because all of the pictures that you see on my instagram and stuff uh, this is mostly a selfie so uh this is my life. Number two is FPV drones. I'm taking those with me whenever I know that I'm going to some really nice scenic places like here in Bali. Uh, I'm staying here for six weeks, so it's absolutely not a big thing to take those guys with me. And this allows me to make shots that I'm not available for all the drones and some of the things just cannot be made with anything else. I have one for long range so this one can go a little bit further and then I have one for freestyle which is like the most usual stuff that you would do with uh, an FPV drone. And by the way if you want to learn how to fly FPV drones I have a full Skillshare course which I'm linking you down below and I'm also having a series on my vlog channel called Train Insane Velocity Drone which is allowing you to learn how to fly those drones by yourself with full tutorials. Number three is obviously if I'm taking the drones, I'm also taking the drone batteries. Those are different. This is for the Mavic and this is for my FPV drones. Uh, so basically, you know, you need a charger for each one of them. Uh, and if I'm taking the drones, it's absolutely a must. I'm not working on three batteries 
total, this is just not happening. And it adds a lot of weight. Plus the batteries have to be actually put into a lipo safe bag for whenever you are on the airplane and it has to be in your carry-on luggage. So your carry-on gets really heavy, really, really fast. Since I'm taking my FPV drones, I'm also taking my FPV controller. This is the one that I'm using currently, but I'm switching to something smaller. So this is the Radiomaster TX16S. I'm using it for most of my FPV drones, but I'm currently switching to Team Black Ship Tango 2 because it's a little bit smaller. It looks like an Xbox controller. So it's smaller, lighter, and it allows me to pack more things whenever I'm traveling. So this is going to be a really big switch for me because I've used to fly just with big ass radio controllers like this one. And last but not least, since we're taking FPV drones, I'm also taking my FPV goggles. I'm currently using a wax nail system for digital stuff because I'm kind of anti-DGI to be perfectly honest. And this one is working perfectly well. If you want to learn more about FPV or this system or whatever, really check out my second channel because I'm talking a lot about drones and FPV on it as well. And uh, you can basically learn everything from there. And yeah. It's been fun so far, I like it. So those are all of the things that I'm traveling with whenever I'm going somewhere abroad. And uh, of course, the drones are kind of like optional, but uh, mostly I'm taking them as well. So uh, they do fit into my really limited luggage and my really limited person. I'm not traveling with a lot of stuff because I kind of don't want to travel with the things that I'm not able to carry myself. I'm always making sure that whatever I'm taking, I am able to take it up the stairs it's as easy as that. I hope that this video gave you some ideas about how to prepare your gear and pick up the things that you really need as your office for digital nomads and maybe for your travel. Once again, all of the links to the products mentioned are down below in the description box and those are mostly affiliate links. So if you buy something using them, I will get a little bit of a commission. So thank you again very much for doing that. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you liked it, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up to help me make algorithm extremely happy. And also leave me a comment down below and basically tell me what are your essentials when it goes to travel and work because this may be really interesting and we all may learn something from the comment section as well. If you are wondering how to actually travel and work at the same time and how to get this work-life balance while traveling, check out the video right here that I made not so long ago about this exact topic and maybe that will give you a lot of ideas. Go check it out. I'll see you in the next one. Stay awesome fam. Bye!